Today's outfit. Let me see. Where are we going? On today's episode of Travel Rounders. What's this? Pants? Stay tuned to find out what this episode and these pants have to do with today's journey. Stick around for the adventures of Nick and Travel Rounders. Thanks for watching.
Filipinos and Filipinas do not like the sun. Us Americans work out of white, we like the sun. But Filipinos do not like the sun and will block it any chance they get. So, this is trike two. I'll spin it around and let you see what I see. And uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I will uh, turn the camera on as soon as I get to the immigration department. Uh, I will flip it around and let you see what I see from the back of this truck. Thanks for watching. Some 
reason. Uh, the Philippines and the Philippine driver loves loud exhaust. <laughs> Some will take a nice quiet uh, trike and, and go put a loud exhaust on it. It could be so that way other drivers can hear them and see them because uh, if you're in a big SUV and you have a little motorbike behind you, sometimes uh, it's hard to see them. But if they have a loud exhaust, you would definitely hear them. So maybe that's the reason why. It could be a safety. So guys, I was walking by this, these contractors, and I just thought I would give a shot. How they do it in the Philippines. This is the framework for the next building. So it looks like I go this way to the immigration department. <laughs> So, this is Nick, Travel Rounders. We've made it through the immigration. And I recommend uh, that if you uh, need to come see the immigration, rather than go through the Manila Immigration Department, you come right here to Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa City Hall, which is right here. It's fast. It's easy and uh, it's a lot quicker. And you'll see a lot of uh, foreigners here. Process very quick. I just extended uh, for another month. You have to extend a month. And I think next time you can extend two months at a time. But uh, it cost me uh, 3,030 pesos. To uh, extend for another month so uh, if you are in the Santa Rosa area or by Santa Rosa even if you're in the Manila area and you need to go to the immigration department then I would recommend come here and get your paperwork done so uh, this is Nick I'm going to eat and I will uh, see everybody soon thanks for watching
guys, this is this is Nick. I'm in front of the Santa Rosa. Looks like the Santa Rosa Arch. And I'm here in the Philippines. I just left the immigration department. So if you see this arches and you're looking for the immigration department, it's just right next to it. So uh, it's, it looks pretty busy today. Uh, but then it's hard to tell because it's always busy in the Philippines. Uh, it's pretty hot. Uh, I'm dressed like this with long pants because of the immigration department. Uh, so, uh, welcome to the Philippines. I'm going to be walking around this area and uh, taking some shots and uh, giving you a different perspective of different areas within the Philippines other than the most popular tourist areas. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm here in the front of the city hall, and this is where you'll need to come if you need to see the immigration department. Uh, it's a lot easier than the one in Manila. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot faster also. So just come down to the Santa Rosa, which is not that far. Uh, from the Manila and uh, get your immigration stuff done here a lot faster and they're a lot more organized here so I'll show you what the building looks like so just come on down and get your paperwork done here the people inside are very nice as always so this is nick with travel rounders and i will see you guys on the next vlog thanks for watching